Well, I'm joined by David Hart, who's a relative, well, very new, really, yeah, uh, yeah. MD of uh, Kubota UK. And uh, this will be your first show um, in the new guys? Or did, yes. Uh, yes, yeah, the first, yeah. Uh, so it'll be the first one with, yeah, the, with Kubota. So I haven't been to any other trade show so far. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. Yeah. Um, You've been at the previous company for quite a number of years. What was it attracted you to the, the thought of one changing company and two being managing director of a company? Um, I think one of the interesting pieces for me, you know, you have 28 years with a brand, um, you know, and after a certain amount of time, you know, even if you change roles within a business, um, you know, it can become a bit same old, same old. So this was a great opportunity to work for a, a, an Eastern company instead of a Western company. The, uh, the culture is completely different to what I've been used to. Um, and the opportunity came up. So as well as the uh, tractor and the ground scare business, I have responsibility for construction, uh, which is a big piece of the Kubota industry in the UK and uh, also engines. So we supply engines to a number of uh, different country uh, companies around the UK uh, business. How, how often have you been over to Jap Japan so far? I've only been over once. So I've been here just over six months now. And, um, you know, it was a, a whistle-stop tour. So I flew into Tokyo, uh, went and visited many of the facilities that they had in Japan, met the chairman. Uh, got taken out to a tapanyaki restaurant with the, uh, the, the senior executives and, uh, and then flew back home on Saturday. So uh, had, a, had a nice time and um, you know, it was a, a real eye-opener for me as I've never been to Japan before. It must be when you join a new company in the manner you've done that uh, you're working with an awful lot of people who know, know an awful lot more about the product than you do. So your learning curve must be quite incredibly steep. Yes, it was, uh, yeah, I've, uh, my feet haven't really touched the ground, I would say, in that, uh, you know, uh, the product is one piece that you have to get used to, but I think the, the, the important piece that I've sort of focused on is, is trying to understand the culture of the company, because where I came from, as I say, is a, a Western culture. This is very much an, an Eastern culture, and, and they are very different, and, and both have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, and what I wanted to do was try not to come in and change cultural differences because I think especially Kubota have some unique um, cultural benefits um, as well as you know reliable products they're very methodical in their approach towards business so I would say that's been my number one core activity now I'm six and a bit months in I'm now I like this show starting to get round and, and meet the dealer network and, and understand our distribution channel a little bit better. One of the beauties for you must be the fact that Kubota is such a recognisable name and colour. We mentioned the, the orange, but uh, they're right up there when it comes with uh, um, products, visibility yeah. and knowledge. Yeah, and one thing I didn't realise until um, you know the opportunity uh, arose to join Kubota was that in agricultural machinery globally um, they are number two in in sales volume. So, and I had no idea of that, but obviously a lot of their sales volume in in agricultural and ground scare products is coming from Eastern um, Eastern world, um, but also North America uh, they're especially strong. Um, and you know that for me was also a bit of a um, an enticement to come along was to work for another top four company uh, in in the field that I was interested in. Now, having just not long taken over, what are your ambitions um, for personally and for the company over the next? Where would you like to be in five years? Let's put it that way. I think um, the first thing I'll, I'll mention the B words that you know we need to you know get through Brexit first. We're not sure where that's going to take us. I'm not overly concerned with the, the ground scare business too much. I would say it could have a fairly big impact on agriculture in, in the next five years, depending on how subsidies go in the business. Um, and then in construction business, uh, I hate to say it, but that could be turned off overnight if the housing market suddenly goes flat on us. 60% of the construction machines that we sell go into rental. Um, and of course that business could dry up um, straight away. So I think 
mine's more short term than that. I'd like to make the next six months a real focus area. But I would say in five years, we still want to be seen as the most reliable product on the market. And also dealing with a dealer network that has a personable feel to it. Um, and also, you know, give, give, give the customers that Kubota experience. Well, David, thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time. Obviously, there's an awful lot of people want to see you this week, um, you and your job, and uh, they want to come and say hello, if nothing else. Yep. Um, so thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time, and I look forward to working closely with you yep. over the next few years. Okay. And hopefully Brexit will not have too big an impact on this. Yep.